as far as the experience in the room, if we treat a room with just absorption and get a really consistent decay time across the spectrum, you know, so the base is decaying where we want it, you know, relatively short compared to what it used to be, and so is the mid-range and treble. When you're in that space, especially if you're not used to it, it's very almost disconcerting because there's a disconnect between, a disconnect in our brain between what we see and what we expect to hear and then what we're actually hearing. Yeah, because there's, I mean, there's a, an aspect of our brain that's always working that we don't think about that, you know, modern convenience has dictated that we don't really need to worry about a bear jumping out from behind a bush that's going to attack us. When you're focused on your art, you don't want to be fatigued because your primitive brain is telling you that I don't know what's going on around you. And that's a real thing. I mean, it, listening fatigue will set in a lot sooner in a room that's completely dry than one where you can hear the space and environment around you. And I do want to say too that even in a really dry room like that with just absorption, it's still way better than the untreated room. Oh yeah. You know, but we can make it even better than that. And that's where diffusion comes in. Absolutely. Yeah.